Hey, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another speed build. I feel like I'm getting my speed builds, you know, I'm spitting them out because uh, for a while I hated to do building because I've mentioned this a million times before. I promise I will stop talking about it, but just OBS wasn't working for me. And finally, I got an update. And so it really it really helped my life out a whole lot easier when it came to speed builds. So, I still like to use Fraps for my gameplay. I just think uh, the graphics look better because it actually reads my graphic card. Unlike OBS, OBS still does not read my graphics card. But, it makes speed builds a whole lot easier. So, hallelujah. So, anyways, for this speed build, we are going to be building a townhouse. I named it Bel Air Townhouse. Um... Don't ask why, I don't, I don't know. Um, how I name houses, I know a lot of people have a hard time naming houses. What I do is I go to Google and I say names for houses. And there's like websites where actually they give you names for houses. And it's very quite helpful. <laughs> so um, I just... Actually, oh wait, that's... Yeah, that's usually how I do it, but... <laughs> Just a little pro tip there, but for this house, I actually need a Bel Air townhouse because there is like some Bel Air apartments um, in, in the city I live in. Um, they kind of look like townhouses, so that's where I got that from. <laughs> but anyways, I love this house. I know I feel like I brag on my houses all the time, and it's probably like conceited and just annoying, but you know, I just sometimes, you know, you build and it doesn't, you know, you have a picture in your mind or either you're... You're looking at a picture on Pinterest or something and you can't get it right. But when you finally do get that build right, it feels so good. And this house, you know, exceeded my expectations. I really loved it. I made it a little bit more modern than what I usually go for. Um, the outside is not as bright and white as interior. I, I almost went there, but I didn't. The inside is kind of, you know, my light interior neutral colors that I like, but there is a lot of black in there as well, and I really like how modern it looks. It is three bedroom and two and a half bath, and it has a little garage area downstairs with some workout equipment and a car, like a statue car, you know, and like a word looking, word, word looking, <laughs> what woodworking bench or whatever so i really really like this house it's a cute little family townhouse so as always it is going to be available for download on the gallery it does have cc y'all know me and my max is match cc i just i can't control myself i love it too much and yeah <laughs> sorry but i will link every piece of cc used in this house if you want to download it down below have you been i've been trying in the past to take out all the cc and then upload a non-cc version but for some reason, it worked at first, but now it's not working, and it won't let me upload it without saying that it has CC. Um, so it's going to show up in the advanced tab, even though it does not have CC in it. So that's frustrating. So I'm probably not even going to bother anymore taking out the CC. Um, I'll just link all the CC used, and then if you don't want to use CC, you can still download the house and replace it, because um, it's, it's not really a lot. You can It's easy to replace. It really is. All right, but anyways, so thank you to the Simpanions. Um, Y'all know I hate voiceovers because I never have anything to talk about. And I just cringe when I rewatch my videos. I'm like, oh, how do people listen to me? They must mute me or something. But anyways, thankfully she, um, or she, they, the Simpanions. Y'all, if y'all haven't checked them out, go check out their channel. Ch channel. <laughs> their channel, I will link it down below. I love them. They are awesome. I very, very much enjoy their videos. I think it's really cool that it's two of them. It makes it very interesting to hear their dialogue and to hear them talk to each other. And their videos are very entertaining. And they're really sweet girls. So go check out their channel. But anyways, I was tagged on Twitter in a 20 food related questionnaire um, that they answered in their last video. And so I was like, perfect, perfect timing because I'm about to do a voiceover. So since food is my favorite thing in the whole world, probably we're gonna, we're gonna talk about food, all right? So buckle your britches and let's just, let's get into it. <laughs> all right, so number one is what is your favorite ice cream? Um, okay, look, I've noticed all these questions are favorites, and I love food, so it's, I'm not going to have really one favorite anything, just a warning. <laughs> Sorry if that's cheating, but my favorite ice cream, I really like um, Bluebell Homemade Vanilla. 
it's so good by itself, but also it's really good. You know, if you want to get a little fancy, put a hot fudge brownie mm, with some hot fudge drizzled on there, some whipped cream. So good. <laughs> and then also, I like to go to Baskin Robbins, and I should have looked up what this ice cream is called, but you know, it's a very popular flavor there, so you probably know what it is if you've ever been to Baskin Robbins. But it is a chocolate and coffee flavored ice cream, and it has like almonds in it. Oh my god, so good. But that's probably my two favorite type of ice creams. I don't really eat ice cream a whole lot. I just get to where I want something sweet and sometimes I crave ice cream. Alright, so number two is what would your perfect sandwich look like? Um, I actually really, really love sandwiches. Um, I don't really like, um, like, what do you like, bunny bread and like, you know, school lunches sandwiches that's not what I mean by that I really like sub sandwiches I eat them all the time so I'm gonna tell you my favorite cold sandwich and my favorite hot sandwich because you know me and food I just can't have one but anyways my favorite cold sandwich is I get it from Jersey Mike's I don't know if y'all have a Jersey Mike's where y'all are at but they just built one where I live I actually have two now because the first one was so popular they built another one um and so it's fairly new, and I really love it, but I get their cold sandwich. It's a number seven, and it is the turkey and provolone. So the bread is fresh, the meat is fresh, everything is just fresh, and it's so good. And so it's turkey and provolone uh, cheese, and then I get some lettuce, some shredded lettuce, and then I put banana peppers on it, and then what makes the sandwich is they have this red wine, vinegar, and oil, and then the spices blend. Oh my god, so good. So that's my favorite cold sandwich. My favorite hot sandwich is from Firehouse Subs, which I know most people know what Firehouse is. Um, I like their uh, steak and cheese sandwich. I don't get any sautés on it because I'm not into the sautés. I hate onions and stuff. But um, anyways, yeah, and I get the, the steak and the cheese. And then I get like the mayo and stuff that comes on it and the spicy mustard. And then their sauce at Firehouse, their specialty sauce. Oh my god, so good. So yeah, that's my two perfect sandwiches. Alright, so number three is what is your favorite drink? Um, if I had to pick a favorite, like if I just picked one, it would be sweet tea. I'm from the South. I love sweet tea. I don't know how people live without sweet tea. Why you would choose unsweet tea over sweet tea. It really honestly boggles my mind. I just, I don't understand. <laughs> but if I had a favorite soda drink, I also really like Dr. Pepper. And then I really, really, really enjoy the Starbucks cold frappuccino drinks. You can get them at the gas station. You know what I'm talking about? I like the vanilla and white chocolate mo mo <laughs> mocha flavor. I have them every morning, so... That's my favorites. <laughs> All right, so number four, what is your favorite chocolate? Um, anybody that knows me knows that I am a chocolate fanatic, right? I love chocolate. I have a real sweet tooth, and I love chocolate. But at the same time, I'm very picky when it comes to my chocolate, which is kind of weird. For one, I don't like white chocolate. I never have. I just don't know why. I just don't like it. Um, and I don't like milk chocolate by itself. Like, I just think it's too sweet by itself. I, I don't ask. Um, I do like dark chocolate, though, um, in small quantities. I, I can't eat, like, a big old thing of dark chocolate. It's kind of too bitter. But in small quantities, I can eat dark chocolate. But I don't like fudge because, once again, it's just really sweet to me. It's just way too sweet. Um, but I love chocolate. I love milk chocolate as long as it's got something in it, whether that be caramel, whether it be peanut butter, almonds, anything, nuts, whatever. I don't care. I like it. I will eat it if it's got something in it. But I don't do it milk chocolate, plain chocolate. I just don't prefer it. <laughs> Alright, so what is your favorite meal of the day? That's a hard question because when you're like me and you like to eat... Every meal of the day is your favorite meal of the day. I mean, I really do like to eat. Y'all, my boyfriend makes fun of me because I do a little happy dance when it's time to eat. And I roll my sleeves up and I just, I really get into it. <laughs> but my favorite meal of the day, like I said, it's kind of hard. Because when I'm at work, I really look forward to lunch. Because I'm working and I'm like, I'd rather be eating. <laughs> But I think my favorite meal of the day would probably be dinner. And I really like to fill up on dinner and then relax with some Netflix or play The Sims with a full belly and go to bed happy with a full belly. I mean, that's just, yeah. So, I, okay, I guess I would say that dinner is my favorite meal of the day. All right, so the next question is what is your favorite burger? Oh, I really don't care for burgers. That's one thing I just don't care for. 
Every now and then, I will crave a Big Mac from McDonald's, and I hate McDonald's, but I crave their Big Mac sometimes, but I don't really get burgers when I go to fast food restaurants. I'd prefer, like, chicken or something, um, but I do really enjoy homemade hamburgers off the grill. I think those are the best. All right, so the next question is, what is your favorite takeout? So, my favorite takeout is definitely hibachi. Uh, me and my boyfriend eat it all the time. There's a little hibachi takeout place right down the street from our apartments. And we eat there all the time. It's just the chicken, uh, rice, and the teriyaki, and the yum yum sauce. Oh, so good. <laughs> Alright, and the next question is, what is your favorite type of restaurant? That is easy. That's one that is very easy for me to answer. And my favorite type of restaurant is Mexican because Mexican is my favorite, favorite, favorite food of all time. I love it. I love to go have me a chicken quesadilla. I get the same thing every time. All right, I will eat really any kind of Mexican food, but I really enjoy chicken quesadillas. Grilled chicken chicken... <laughs> Grilled chicken quesadillas with the white queso poured on top. Oh my god, yes. And then like a margarita. Yes. Mm, I just had it last night and I, I could go again for round two tonight. I love Mexican restaurants and Mexican food. Alright, so the next question is, what is the worst food in the world? Um, that's really hard because like I said, I love food. Um, there are little things that I won't eat, like just certain vegetables that I don't like or certain things that I don't really prefer to eat. But what I hate and will really just make me not even want to eat the meal is onions. Which is weird because I can eat onions where it's chopped up and it's like, f it's for flavor and you know, you can't really taste the onions. But anything with like grilled onions or like little diced onions or fresh onions, I hate the smell of onions. I hate the taste of it. Which is really weird because I like the flavor of it, but not like a whole onion or like a sauteed onion. Does that make sense? Do y'all get that? I don't know. I just... I, Mm -mm. If I if I say I want something, no onions, and they put an onion on it, I'm 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 pissed because I can still taste it, and it just turns me off. I don't know what it is. It's weird. But anyways, what food makes you happy? All food makes me happy. Like I said, I just get really into eating. I, I do me a little happy dance. I literally roll my sleeves up and I dig in. <laughs> Um, but I guess Mexican food, like I said, it's my favorite. Um, I, I love it. I get I'm down for it. I call my friends up, beg them, please go, please let's go to Mexican and have a margarita. It's my favorite food, so it, it makes me happy <laughs> when I get to eat Mexican. Alright, so the next question is, if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? And I know you are probably expecting me to say Mexican because I've like obsessed over it <laughs> with every question I've answered probably. But actually the answer to that is Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is that one, like, restaurant or fast food restaurant or just meal in general that I never get sick of. I just, I can't get sick of it. And I get the same thing every time I go. I either go in the mornings and get me a chicken biscuit, so good, or I go and get me a number one just chicken sandwich with some Chick-fil-A sauce. And I could eat it for lunch, like, every day of the week. Me and my mom eat together and we just, we always go to Chick-fil-A. And I never get sick of it. So, I love Chick-fil-A. Their service is awesome. The food is delicious, so if I could eat one meal for the rest of my life, it would be a number one at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Alright, the next question is sweet or salty? And I'm going to say both sweet and salty mixed together. It's the best combination. I will fight you on it if you disagree. <laughs> Alright, so the next question is what gives you the worst food coma? Um, I think the thing that gives me the worst food coma is probably anything like fast food and just really greasy because you know when you eat that like greasy just bad food it's bad for your body and it just really makes you feel tired and disgusting and then when I eat like that I hate myself after because I feel so disgusting and just ew and I don't want to be talked to I don't want to be touched I just want to lay down because I just feel so nasty full and I'm like I'm, I'm feel like I'm in a food coma of like of grease so um yeah probably just like fast food and like real greasy food okay so the next question is what can you not stop eating once you've started okay that's easy as well that's an easy easy question and the answer is chips and salsa or chips and queso I've seen this quote before, I think on Facebook, it's like a meme or whatever, and it says, you know, you never know how little self-control you have until you 
are at a Mexican restaurant and they bring out the chips and salsa, which is so true. I just eat, 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 and I keep eating. And I'm like, I'm full, but I'm still eating the chips and salsa. And the same thing at my house. It's just my favorite snack. I always keep some salsa and some queso and some chips in my refrigerator, in my, in my pantry. I just, I eat it non-stop and I should probably stop buying it because it's probably contributed to my weight gain that I complain about but can't stop won't stop I just I love it okay <laughs> all right so the next question is what is your favorite seasoning um I don't think I really have a favorite seasoning I do prefer like seasoning on my meat and stuff and just on anything because you know it adds that flavor um I usually just use like salt and pepper and garlic powder or, um, you know, like a Creole season or something. Probably like a Creole season, I would say, is my favorite, like Tony's or something. Um, but yeah. Next question is, what homemade meal is your specialty? My, my specialty. That's, that's a funny, that's funny because I don't cook. <laughs> I hate to cook. Um, I'm just that girl that hates to cook. So, um, I don't think I have a homemade meal specialty. I, I do cook every now and then, but I wouldn't call it like a specialty. Um, but one of my favorite homemade meals that my mom makes is I really enjoy her potato soup. It's really good. And I also really enjoy beef tips. She puts them in the slow cooker. And I try to do it myself, but it's just not as good as my mom's. She puts it not in the slow cooker. I mean the pressure cooker. Okay, so some beef tips and then some gravy and some rice and some baked macaroni and cheese and a yeast roll. Oh my god, I don't know what it is, but it's so freaking good. That, that southern food. Yes, that's that. The homemade southern food. That's my specialty but not my specialty everybody else's specialty because I, I don't like to cook and I don't have specialties <laughs> all right so what is your favorite cheese I don't have a favorite cheese I eat cheese a lot I really enjoy cheese <laughs> I don't eat cottage cheese I cottage cheese <laughs> and I don't eat like blue cheese but I eat any other kind of cheese so yeah <laughs> all right so the next question does pineapple belong on pizza I don't know don't hate me for this. I know this is a big debate, but I don't know. I've never tried pineapple on pizza, and I would not be opposed to it. I don't think it sounds gross. I actually would love to try it, but the thing is, is that I've never tried it, and pizza's kind of expensive, you know. If you're going to order a, a pizza for, you know, more than one person generally, it's going to be about close to $20, right? Like $15, $16 at least around here it is, and um, I'm not going to get pineapples on it if I'm not sure I like it so I've never tried it and then I've never been around people that has ordered it for me to try it there's never really been an opportunity I guess for me to try it but I will say that what does belong on pizza is banana peppers I love banana peppers and they are so good on pizza y'all oh my god mm, yes <laughs> the next question is what do you crave most what I crave most is Mexican. <laughs> and that's because I, it's my favorite, right? I've said that a million times. But at the same time, I don't eat it very often. Because my boyfriend, he's actually, I've got him kind of hooked on it. He's finally found some things that he likes. But for the longest time, he swore he hated Mexican. I would have to beg him to go to Mexican with me. But, um, so I've never, I don't go a lot. And every now and then, I would go get together with my friends at a Mexican restaurant. Or we always have birthday parties at Mexican restaurants around here. Um, but I don't really like go all the time, so I'm always craving it. And then also, I have a sweet tooth, so I'm usually always craving something sweet. <laughs> Especially when it's that time of the month, but I think that's normal. Alright, so the very last question is, what does your perfect food day look like? My perfect food day is probably going to be a home-cooked holiday meal with the family because you know on the holidays you have that good home cooked meal and then good company with the family that you don't really get to see that often really only on you know the holidays when everybody gets together good company and good food that's my perfect food day so yeah thank you thank you so much companions for that little questionnaire i had fun answering it and it also made me realize that i probably have a, a problem <laughs> with food and how much I like it and I really need to cut back <laughs> portion control um but anyways yeah that was that was fun so I hope you guys enjoyed that questionnaire let me know if you agree with me on any of my answers um I think doing questionnaires like that are really fun and I probably will try to find my own 
to start doing for my speed builds because I like to listen to them as well when I watch speed builds because I like to get to know the person, you know, and see what we have in common. So yeah, let me know if we have anything in common or if you disagree with anything I say, that's okay. Just let me know down below. But anyways, before I wrap this video up, let me just go back and talk about the build real quick. Um, I loved that space room, that astronomy room that I came up with. I don't know even how I, I, I started it. I think I seen that bed swatch and I just kind of revolve the room around that but I think it's got so much character and I really really like it I really do so anyways guys like I said I hope you enjoyed this build I'm gonna wrap it up here insert some music the pictures will be following of course and like I said everything is available for download on the gallery I will link all the CC down below I recommend you get the CC it's Max's match okay I'm just I'm an advocate for Max's match furniture okay i really am so anyways guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy it share it like it comment subscribe if you have not and i will see y'all in the next video Just you and I And everything is so, thing is so So call me out, call me out, baby Together we can go crazy